All right, I am back with another local business feature here in beautiful Vero Beach, Florida. I am featuring this week local business owner Phyllis Marquez and her really fantastic um, baking company, Bean Bakes Cookies. And Phyllis, I'm going to ask you a whole bunch of questions awesome. if you're okay with that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I would love to share with the viewers here on this channel um, all about your wonderful cookie company. So can you just kind of get us rolling and tell me how, uh, first let's just start off with, tell me about your company. Okay, so I bake sugar cookies from my home. Um, they're specialty cookies, most of them are vanilla, um, and I just decorate them for different occasions. Okay, yeah. how did you get started? Okay, so I've been, I have four children, so I've been baking cookies for them for their birthdays, holidays, but it was just very basic. Um, then after my fourth, my husband thought that it would be a good idea to start a business, but I at the time was not ready because I had two kids in diapers. That's and, a lot. <laughs> and, yes, it is. <laughs> and honestly, I was also worried about not like getting sick of making cookies and yeah. not enjoying it anymore. So um, we kind of held off on that, and then it wasn't until actually 2019, um, in September, I saw something on Facebook come around about a craft fair, and that everything had to be, you know, either home, like homemade. Yeah. So I don't know what I I just decided right then and there. I was going to start this business and <laughs> I thought of a name. I got registered and I just bought a bunch of like uh, tablecloths and um, packaging and lots of flour and sugar and I just baked my heart away and I sold um, my first cookies at a craft show in October of 2019. I love that. And uh, yeah, and so here I am. I had no idea it was gonna be this popular, but <laughs> yeah. That, that's basically how it all started. Well, I'm thinking you must have been really good at it if your husband suggested that you turn it into a business. You're probably just not like popping sugar cookies in the oven and like... <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, looking Mine back... Usually I, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Looking back, I, I didn't think I, that they were good enough to sell, but um, yeah, I guess. Yes, they were. So. Yeah, they're beautiful. These well, are definitely good enough to sell to me. These are so beautiful and fancy. And so sugar, sugar cookie, mm -hmm. and then you decorate it. What is what is this called? Like the icing? It's royal use? icing. Royal icing. Royal icing. Okay. Yep. It's like a sweet. Y yes, it's made like with uh, meringue powder okay. and water. Um, yeah. Okay. So. And then you just do the color, whatever color you need, and then whatever design. Yep. Do you come up with the design of like if I came to you and I was like, I'm having a birthday party and I want a bunch of queen crown cookie something. I don't know. Yeah, so both. So um, my customers give me inspirational pictures. Okay. Sometimes they want exactly what you know they show me and sometimes they're like just do whatever this is these are the this is the color scheme and this is what I want and I'll just you know pick whatever yeah good. I come up with something yeah okay mm -hmm. oh nice mm -hmm. I love that yeah. and so I whenever I see somebody who's so skilled artistically like this I always ask or myself like, do you have any kind of like artistic background? Do you, do you used to paint? Were you like a crafty child? Or? So I was a crafty child. I do like to paint and I always like to color and, and all that, but I am not artistic. I don't know. I, I'm you just, like you don't consider I, yourself like I may that. be creative, yeah. but I don't feel that I am artistic. I don't, that's just well with cookies you are well, yeah a lot you of practice try, you that's should a try lot of picking practice. up a paintbrush sometimes <laughs> i'd like to see what happens no these are beautiful so you. these you i don't know if you can see them but they say baby and they're little oranges and they're really pretty um what are some recent cookies that you've made do you like can you think of anything off the top of your head well i just made fourth of july cookies okay I, so i do that also um when holidays i don't usually do fourth of july i just decided to this year but i usually during um, Halloween, Christmas, and Easter are my big um, holidays, and I'll offer that to the community. Okay. And um, yeah, they it goes really well. People okay. love them. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then, so do people 
like usually you would just make a big batch and then you post it somewhere or tell me a little bit about, especially I would assume if I reached out to you, you could take my order, but how, how do you usually communicate with people? Or are you just taking orders mostly? Okay, so during holidays, I do what's called a pre-sale. So on my Instagram or Facebook, I'll put, okay, this is what I'm offering for say Christmas. Okay. And it there'll be either like four cookie sets, it'll be a personalized cookie, it'll be mini cookies, okay. or it'll be a dozen cookies. And um, when you go on my ordering page, you pick what you want. And um, and then I'll have a pickup date also. Like, okay, these will be available on whatever, you know, December 20th or something. Yeah. And then they come and pick them up. Okay. They pay for them and come and pick them up. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. a good system. I yeah. like that. Yeah. And then special order too, if somebody wants something for a special specific event. Like yes, the, to give at least, um, at least a month. Uh, I don't take um, special orders during the month of December just because it's December and I'm doing Christmas cookies. And you have four kids yes. <laughs> and all of life things. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, okay. um, but yeah, they just go on Instagram or Facebook and just click the link okay. in my bio and they can order from there. Easy enough. Easy. That's perfect. Yep. Mm -hmm. And are you finding that a lot of people, instead of doing like a cake or a cupcake for special events, now they're starting to do these kind of, these specialty cookies and decorated Absolutely. cookies? Absolutely. Because they, it's decor for the party That's and a good point. yeah and for and for uh children it's cleaner yeah That's there's no exactly yes, what i was saying. no frosting i have two little <laughs> kids a so six and three they make a lot of mess. So that's exactly what I was thinking. It's like maybe some crumbs, but no frosting, no blue frosting. Exactly. On exactly. Everything. Yes. It's the blue frosting that gets me every time in my house. Yes. Oh, that that makes perfect sense to me. And you're right. Like it is so much prettier than a cupcake. Mm -hmm. Or a cake's pretty too. But even if you had a cake and then the cookies. Yes, I that I do that too. Like yeah. a party mm -hmm. favor too. A great party favor. Yes. We've taken a bunch home like as party favors yep. too. Yep, we do that during weddings too as favors too. And yeah. also for kids, kids parties, they love to see their name on cookies. Aww, that, so yeah. that's like that's a big thing. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. sweet. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think about that, but yep. it's true. Kids like their face, their name, yes. or anything like that. Absolutely. Oh, that's sweet. Yep. Okay, so speaking of names, tell me about the name. How'd you come up with the name for your company? Okay. Because when I first saw it, I was like, Bean Bakes Cookies, I was like, are the beans in it? Like, I'm all for an alternative that I like a substitute. Mm -hmm. I love some oat milk, you know, but tell me. <laughs> so it's funny you said that because when I set up my little craft table, you know, back in 2019, I had that question so many times. I'm like, no, there's like, not no beans. beans. <laughs> no beans. <laughs> um, but we love beans. <laughs> <laughs> not in cookies. Um, but <laughs> anyway, um, no, so my nicknames really since I was an infant has been Bean. And my husband, my family, my close friends, they call me Bean. Okay. So that's how it came up. I love it. I just it. love Bean Bakes Cookies. So I love mm. it. And I love also that it's just not like something super generic, like a mm. generic sugar something. Or yeah. Another, you know, I don't yeah. know if anything right now. But it's really <laughs> unique. Yeah, and it's thanks. memorable. Mm -hmm. So I love yes, that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. What do you want people to know about yourself, your business? What's important that that comes across to them? Well, that I love what I do. And I'm not sick of what I'm, what I'm doing. <laughs> That's I, good. I, honestly, I love it. And um, I love to be able to serve the community with this. It just it makes every occasion that they have, like I, I'm a small part of maybe a big celebration. So yeah. um, that that's what I would love to get across to everyone. So. I love that. My husband and I always said, like, it's, it's neat when people choose certain types of businesses or certain things to do for a living. Like we always thought, you know, a flower shop, working in a flower shop mm -hmm. is probably like a nice uplift, uplifting kind of job to have, or like an ice cream shop. Like who's mad when they're going in to get right. ice cream? It's the same thing. Yes. Like if you get to be a part of a celebration, that's really yes. nice. And when they come and pick it up, I love to watch their faces. They love yeah. it. Sometimes they'll um, text me pictures of their kids eating the cookies, and I, it just warms my heart. I love it. I That's love really it. Really nice. Yeah. I like that too. I'm mm -hmm. here for all of the feelings. I love all of that <laughs> stuff. 
Okay, Phyllis, so tell us again, just run me through the process if I wanna place an order with you. Okay, so um, if you just go to Facebook or Instagram, and for Instagram, you just click um, on my bio. I'll have a link there. With Facebook, if you just message me, I will send you the link to order. And then um, once I receive your request, I will send you an email with a quote. And, um, and then a, about a day before you're going to pick them up, um, I would just have, I would send you my address and um, then you can just pick them up let me know when you're at my house and I'll walk the, the cookies out to you. Okay, great. And they're mm -hmm. they're home baked cookies, right? Yes, bake I them bake here them here home. in my in home. In your beautiful it's my kitchen. kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Fantastic. Easy enough. Thank you so much. Um, I have an upcoming birthday, so you will be hearing from me one awesome. month in advance. Yay. Yes, <laughs> yes, that's great. Oh, I would love to. I appreciate that. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. And again, thank you so much. And for Everybody uh, watching this, if you have any questions or you want any additional information, leave them in the comments below. And thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week.